Hi, this is Margaret from Noble Desktop. And this is a video on the TrackMac key and the Ultra key in Premiere Pro. So I have a video here on these people dueling. And maybe I'd like to have the title say duel and have them fighting inside the letters. So the way to do that is to first, let's write some text. I press T for the text tool. And now I'm going to write duel. And I'm going to select it. I'm going to go under my effects control, open up text here that has dual in it. I'm going to make this super large. This is um, the type of text this is, is called impact, which is nice bold letters. Maybe even a little bigger, like so. And under video effects, keying, I have a track mat key. So I'm going to drop the track mat key on the video, not on the text. Now I have track mat key composite using matte alpha, yes, because I don't want it to be transparent. I want it to fill the transparency. Now it's giving me here options, video two and video three. It's because I have video one, two, and three on my timeline. Wherever the text falls, in this case is video two, is what I'd like to composite using. And so it does this, which is just wonderful. So another excellent option under keying is the ultra key. And ultra key is used when removing green screen. I like to take the green screen away and I'd like this image to be her background. I'm going to go over to my effects and say keying ultra key. She selected and I double click on ultra key. That effect automatically appears in the effects control as part of her clip. So I'm gonna take the eyedropper and choose the green. And now it really worked great already. You have options here. I wanna keep it at composite because I intend to put the road beneath her. So I'm gonna bring this up, that image of the road underneath this image, great. So. Now I can look and say, okay, is there little edges going around her? I'm going to open up Matte Generation. There's a lot here. There's a lot for you to work with. I can bring back some of the opacity of her image that might have been lost because of reflection of the green highlights. One thing I do like for this particular image is the choking because there's a little bit of an edge around her that I'd like to try to get rid of. So I'm going to move that up a little bit. Mm, not too much done there. Maybe soften it a bit, aggressive and relaxed. It does a little bit less, I'm keeping it at default. If you have a particularly troublesome, poorly lit green screen, if you fiddle with them enough, you really will get some great results. They definitely have worked quite a bit to compensate for a green screen that is not that well lit. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on the track mat key and the ultra key. This has been Margaret with Noble Desktop.